What? Yeah. When did I get agreed to go on a blind date? You didn't, but we did. You are the only one left in our group and also you need to move on from that game, okay? He's dating multiple girls and enjoying his life and here you are still stuck there. You looked all of your friends in amusement. They seriously would not leave you alone until you get a boyfriend. I've already moved on, okay? And I don't want to be in relationship anymore, so please leave me on my condition. If you don't want to go on a blind date, then I have a better option. You all looked at him. What's that? He looked at you. Can we date? You rolled your eyes while Gia hit his head slightly. Okay, we are not telling you to actually date that guy, but at least try. I mean, let's just say it fun for a night. It will actually help you to get over from that game. I told you that I'm already over. Okay, okay, we agree that you have moved on, but there's nothing wrong with go on a blind date. People do that for fun and since we've put a lot of efforts, then at least do that for us. Don't let it go waste. You sighed looking at their faces. Hey, that's our girl. What's happening there? With that voice, you all turned back and saw your cool professor looking at all of you while folding his arms. Other students were on their seats and their eyes were only on you. Your group known to be the most weird and non-likable group of friends because you all are so carefree and unlike other students, you all believe in enjoying college life by creating good memories. You all bowed in apology and sat on your seats. Let's start with the continuation of yesterday's lecture. He said walking to his place and looked at everyone. But first of all, who will gonna explain me what we have learned yesterday? You slowly slide back on your seat in the hope to disappear from his sight as you are the most easy target of him and he would definitely insult you because you didn't pay attention yesterday as always. Sir, can I? She said raising her hand while Jungkook didn't pay attention to her and as always attacked you. Miss Wyan, would you like to explain something? It would be so nice of you. You squeezed your eyes tightly before getting up. Come on, we don't have much time. You looked at your friends who were looking at you with pity. Good luck, she mouthed. You sighed and walked to the front before standing beside Jungkook. Everyone is waiting so I think you should start. He opened the slide and gestured you to start explaining. You were just looking at the screen as if seeing all this for the first time. You have no idea from where to start and what to say. What happened Miss Wyan? You slowly turn your face towards him. Can I explain it tomorrow? I need to revise one time. He bit his lower lip trying to control his anger. No worries, you can, but before that, I'm gonna make sure to make you revise it thoroughly before that. You're staying in the university after the classes, now go back to your seat. You sign and walk to your seat knowing well there won't be any use of fighting back. Yes, Claire, please stand up and explain this to everyone. She stood up excitedly and looked at everyone in attitude while showing off. This is so cruel of him, why do you even do that? You didn't say anything and was eating your lunch. Then what about your date? You glared at her. Do you still think I would go? Don't give up, you'll be free by 4 or 5. We can at least make him wait for a few hours. It's at 6, so you can easily... You know I'll be in horrible mood after attending his extra classes. How would I go on a date? Try to make it Vyan. You'll gonna love it. Mr. Shin recommended that guy to us and he said he'll really humble and well-educated. Plus, he's a professor. You choked and looked at her. 
What a professor? Yeah, you know that I'm already fed up with one here and now you chose me a date with a professor? Calm down, not every professor is like him and just imagine if you guys work out together. Mr. Jungkook won't be able to put you down. You can mock him, just imagine. You sip your coffee finding this deal in your favor. What do you think? They were looking at you hopefully. If you guys are insisting then I will give it a try. They both jumped in excitement and hugged you. Other students shook their heads. Jungkook came inside the classroom when you were using your phone. You put it down as he walked in front of you. How it feels to be left alone when all of friends are already gone. It wouldn't have happened if you didn't stop me. He put the book on your table and looked at you. It wouldn't have happened if you pay attention in class. You rolled your eyes. Now take out your sheets and we are going to make notes. Can I get an exemption for today? I have to go somewhere important. He turned back in amusement. You really have no regret, right? Except studies, you give importance to everything. It shouldn't be your concern. You mumbled but he heard it. You're right. It shouldn't be my concern yet. I want you to do something useful in life. If you don't like to study then why are you even wasting your time instead do something you like. Because that's what my parents want and don't waste my time and do what you are here for. I need to leave. He scoffed. Are you for real? Do you think I'm free and have no value of time? Isn't it why you are here to waste it? He slowly mumbled. I too have personal life but here I am taking the time to teach you something useful but you are not at all grateful. I didn't ask you and it was your choice. There was a staring contest between both of you for some time until he gave a bundle of notes to you. Write down everything in your sheets. You looked him with wide eyes. Are you serious? It would take me at least one week to complete. He smiled mockingly. No, you have to complete it today itself or else forget about going home. No, please don't do that. I have a date tonight and I don't want to look horrible. Then finish it. You shook your head. No, please Mr. Jungkook. I promise you that I will pay attention from now on and also will explain all this in class. There was an expression of victory on his face as he already won the argument. No need, just complete these notes. He shook your head. No, please let me go sir. I want to go home. You started to fake cry while he looked at you confused. Are you for real? Please sir, let me go. I have a date tonight. Don't ruin that. You said still crying making horrible sound. First stop this act. You looked at him. If I stop then would you let me go? He was just looking at you. Please. He sighed and looked away. Take these notes and go. You smile brightly. Really? Thank you so much. You are the best. You quickly collect your stuff and rushed outside while he chuckled with a scoff. Weird. I also have to leave now. This is my first date and I don't want to do any mistake. He grabbed his stuff and left. Guys, I don't know why but I'm nervous. Play it cool Vyan. It would be good and he will drool over you just by looking because you're looking so gorgeous and different today. You guys are not joking right? Really? 
why would we now don't waste time and go he's sitting right there you looked in the direction and there he was sitting but you couldn't see his face because his back was facing you Why do I feel like I'm familiar with this bag? I mean, I'm feeling like I've seen him before. They all looked at him and then at you. Stop it and go. We're sitting here, okay? We'll help you if you feel awkward. You know it. My heart is pumping. God be with me. He will now go. They pushed you a little while you inhaled deeply and walked to where that guy was sitting. You cleared your throat lightly to grab his attention as he turned back. Ha Both of your eyes widened as you were in complete surprise to see each other. You? Shit, he's Professor John. Run before he sees us. They both run away from there. What are you doing here? Same goes to you. What are you doing here? I already told you that I have a blind date and wait. This hit both of you. Was Mr. Shin arranged this date for you? You too? He sighed. You slide inside the booth and said. What a horrible coincidence. I should be saying that. Written all cool and mighty in front of your students and then do such kind of thing? What do you mean by such thing? I too have a life and I am in my right age to do this. Think about yourself. What about me? I told you I am going on a date. This is my life. I can do whatever I want. Then me too. And have some respect, okay? I am your teacher. He scoffed and leaned on the table. You are barely few years older than us and also you are like us outside the school so why would I respect you? Forget about date, no guy would want a girl like you. You looked him amused. How dare you to say that? Have you seen yourself? Which girl would date a guy like you? You are not even bearable. Lower down your volume, you are embarrassing me. Thank god I came instead of any other girl. I saved her life. And I saved that guy. What? How did? Ma'am, what would you like to order? Suddenly the waiter came when you were about to explode. Poison. Do you have that? He gulped while Jungkook spoke. Don't mind her. Get us something usual. He nodded and walked away while looking at you. You sat down. Sit down and behave yourself. People are staring. You rolled your eyes and sat down. I shouldn't have listened to my stupid friends. He looked at you. Now why are you blaming them? Because they said they stayed. I didn't have any idea. The waiter came with drinks but lost his balance and some juice dropped on your dress. What the? I'm sorry ma'am. Be careful dude. You just ruined her dress. I'm sorry sir. It was an accident. You ruined my favorite dress. Aish, it dropped on your chest making your inner wear visible. Jungkook said, sent the waiter back and came near you offering you his handkerchief. Here, wipe it. You took it from his hand and wiped. I need to use the washroom. Okay, let's go but first wear this jacket. He made you wear his jacket and also walk you to the washroom. He waited for you outside while you were washing up the stain inside. After some time you came outside still wearing his jacket. You okay now? You nodded. I'll keep your jacket for today. It's okay, now let's go. You both started to walk but then you stopped him. Uh, 
I'm sorry for my behavior and thank you. Never mind, I don't get offended when I know how you are. He walked ahead while you followed. When you guys came back to your seats, two middle-aged women who were sitting next to your booth looked at you. How caring and loving your boyfriend is. You both are perfect match for each other. Your cute little fights are actually fun and cute. May God always keep you together like this. You both looked at each other and your cheeks turn actually turned red. Right then your food also came as the waiter served it and left. We can't let this date go away so at least we can have some fo good food. Thanks for this next time the treat would be from my side. I'll wait let's see how it turn out. You chuckled a little while he smiled.